Hi everybody, um, I figured I would share another thought with you all here, and um, I wanted to talk about the fact that um, a couple of things. First, I want to address all the game delays that are all the delays that have been going on, and then I want to talk about um, how there aren't many games for the new systems right now. So first, we're going to get into the delays. Um, I would rather have a game come out late and working right than to come out too early and it not be finished and um, having bugs and having to be patched and all of that. That being said, I, I think what's it's getting to the point now where we not only can't trust release dates anymore, but it seems like whenever a game is announced, it never comes out the same year it's announced. So I actually doubt Far Cry 4 is going to come out this year just based on that alone. For one reason, there's a marketing. There's marketing that needs to go into it. You know, you got to build up the hype, show what your game can do, and all that. But usually, when a game is announced or shown off at E3, it usually takes a couple of years before it is actually released. But here is what I would ask of game developers: Don't announce a release date to us or even a window until you are absolutely certain your game is ready. You know, just. If your game, if you're still working on the game, don't don't tell us, don't give it a release date yet, because chances are you're not going to make that release date anyway, and you're going to upset a lot of people. Um, I understand you have shareholders and you need to, you know, give them some results, but you can share something with your shareholders and not tell us, you know, don't get us all excited too quickly. You know, you let your shareholders know privately, and you just keep the game a secret or don't give a release date until your game is ready. So you're certain your game is going to be ready. Don't work on it and then have to change your mind and delay it because that just disappoints us and it's happening way too often now. Anyways, uh, the next point is the fact is people are complaining how there's no games for the Xbox One and the PS4 and all that. I mean, there are games, but there's not a lot. Not compared to the 360 and PS3. But the thing is, people don't remember... When the 360 and PS3 first came out, for the first year, there wasn't that many games for them either. Um, it's just that this console generation has lasted so long that there are a whole generation of gamers out there who don't remember what it was like to be an early adopter of a gaming console. You know, I mean, it's been almost a decade since we've had 360 and PS3. That's twice as long as a normal gaming cycle. So... A lot of people don't remember that when the 360 first came out, there was, during the first year, you had Oblivion in, in, in the spring of 06, and it was delayed because it was supposed to be a launch title for the 360. And then, on a year after, almost a year after the 360 came out, we got the first Gears of War. And, I, and of course, the PlayStation 3 was infamous for not having any games for a while. I mean, it had it had multiplats, but they weren't very good for at the beginning of the console's life cycle. They continued to struggle throughout the console's life cycle, even though they didn't improve. But the major PlayStation exclusive didn't come along until 2008, when Metal Gear Solid 4 came out. Yes, you had the first Uncharted that came out before, but the first Uncharted went by unnoticed. It took a couple of years, and then the 360 got a got. Mass Effect. It got Bioshock. So you see where I'm getting at here? We're at that... For, this is the first... I call it the first year one drought. It's year one drought of the new console generation. And people just aren't used to it because we haven't had a new console generation in years. And some of you probably... This is probably the first... These new consoles are probably the first consoles you have bought on your own ever you know um or have bought on your own i should say more specifically the first consoles you bought on your own at the beginning of a console life cycle i mean i'm pretty sure many of you have bought 360s and ps3s but by the time you bought them there were already a lot of games out for both so honestly all i can say guys is just hang in there if history repeats itself which it does Hang in there, the games will be here. In a couple of years, you're going to see the the PS4 and the Xbox One sections at GameStop grow, and you're going to see the 360 
and the PS3 section shrink. But we're we're not these consoles aren't even year old, guys. We're in year one. It's probably the toughest year to be an early adopter because you want to play your new hardware and there's not that much out there for it. I mean, there are, but but hey, it's not like there's no games for it. I mean, Watch Dogs came out last week. Uh, Murder Soul Suspect came out today, although the reviews for it haven't been very good thus far. I've only seen two reviews, but they haven't. They've been pretty bad, um, which is a disappointment because I'm I'm actually was interested in the concept of Murder Soul Suspect, but. Um, you know, we had Wolfenstein, that got really good reviews, that came out before. I was surprised that Wolfenstein got good reviews, but it did, it got, it's getting really good reviews. So, it's not like we have nothing to play, it's just, we're just not used to, you know, having a gaming console and not having a huge back, a back catalog of games, you know? And a lot of people, this is their first time experiencing this. Again, it goes back to the seventh generation being so, lasting so long. You know, so just hang in there, guys. Games are coming, and um, and developers, please don't tell us when your game's coming out until you're absolutely certain you can make that release date. I appreciate you taking the time, but um, you know, because I'd rather have a delayed game that works than a rushed one that does not. But please, this it's getting a bit too much, and they keep saying, "Oh, we need time to polish this. We need time to polish this." It's happening over and over again to the point where release we can't trust release dates anymore. So don't make a release date till you're certain. That's all we ask. Tell your give that information to your shareholders, but don't tell us yet. Don't tell us until you're absolutely certain that your game will be ready. And then we will look forward to it, and we will look forward to a polished game. Anyways, that's all I got to say, and um, so I'll quit babbling. Um, I. Before I go, I wanted to um, talk to you guys real quick about my friend Shock to the System. If you, if you're only interested in gaming, stop now. But I'm asking you guys to continue because I do have a, a, a request for you. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. My DJ friend Shock to the System was arrested recently, and he is trying to reach a goal of a certain amount of money. And um, I'll put that in the description below because I don't know it right off the top of my head. But um, this is the shirt that I'm wearing. I don't know if any of you guys seen him, but um, he is one of the best DJs, and he was one of my good friends. He was my drummer in my band back in the day, and he is just a phenomenal guy all around. Um, if you want to help him out, like I said, the link in the description will be below, and you can get all the information there on help on help helping to raise money to get him to reach his uh, bond or his bail. I mean his bail. Whatever, yeah. So there you go. Help him out if you can. Some of you have done it so already, and he appreciates that. Anyway, that's all i got to say now, and I am really going to go this time, so take care.